Hello everyone, Darren Kwilinski here, and on today's Quick Fix, TSM CEO and founder Reginald is under investigation after employees and pro players alleged he verbally abused and bullied them. That's right, the story was published Tuesday morning via Wired Cecilia de Anastasio, which cites that pro players, as well as current and former employees, have come forward to allege abuse and misconduct by TSM CEO Andy Reginald Din. Riot Games told Wired they are aware of the situation and had launched an investigation with a third-party law firm last year. TSM also launched their own investigation in tandem. All sources chose to remain anonymous but stated that the company is ruled by a culture of fear. They say Din has put down his employees by calling them stupid or worthless. From the article, three current or former TSM employees say that sometimes Din would ridicule his employees for hours. His tirades were often prompted by minor mistakes. Other times he yelled at employees in front of assembled colleagues as part of an exhibition, says one current employee, that Din appeared to take pride in. One former employee recalled hearing Din say he wanted to make an example out of a person he berated publicly. One source went on to say that a normal boss who thought you were doing a bad job would give you feedback. At TSM, it was like, this is trash or you're awful. Additionally, employees actively sought to keep themselves from getting promoted in order to avoid being Din's direct report. Din himself is aware of the investigation and told Wired via email that he has high expectations of himself and holds himself and others to those standards. He said, quote, I am intense, passionate, driven, and relentless in the pursuit of winning. It's my nature. I set an extremely high bar and when I feel that someone is not delivering, I directly and bluntly share that feedback. Now, if you've been in the esports scene long enough, specifically in the League of Legends scene, this news is pretty easy to believe. There have been videos and examples in the past of Din berating players, specifically one with Marcus Dyrus Hill back in 2013, where Din aggressively called Hill names. Former TSM player Peter Doublelift Peng spoke up back in November, stating he hated TSM mostly because of Din. Peng also tweeted out that reading people's anecdotes that Andy was nice to them and thus downplay the fact that he harassed and abused people at TSM as their boss is just so disgusting. No wonder people don't feel good about speaking up about their abusers. So many people experienced public humiliation, mental breakdowns, crying at work. People in power can get away with anything, it seems. Those comments and tweets were apparently what prompted the investigation, and according to Wired, TSM will announce their findings this month.